Hello my dear learner, my name is teacher Ndio Abati. I am going to take you through so studies primary 6 class. Our theme is living together in East Africa. Our topic, the East African community. And the subtopic is location of East African community member states using grid reference. And this is lesson number one. Uh, our lesson overview, our first competence, we are going to define grid reference. Our second competence, defining lines of latitude. And our third competence, we are going to identify important lines of latitude. And before I move, I move on forward, we have facts to remember. We are going to look at the historical background of the East African community. The East African community was formed on 1st December 1967 to replace the East African Common Services Organization. The East African Common Services Organization EACSO had been formed in 1961, but that organization collapsed when it failed to fulfill its objectives. The East African Common Services Organization had its headquarters in Nairobi, Kenya, that is the capital city of Kenya. That's where the headquarters of the East African Common Services Organization was. Then the East African community is the regional economic grouping for, for the East African states. And it has got very many countries. Those are seven countries. We have Uganda, we have Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, South Sudan, and Democratic Republic of Congo. It has its headquarters in Arusha, Tanzania. That's where the headquarters of the East African community are found. And it was formed by three countries of the East African region. We have Uganda, we have Kenya and Tanzania under the leadership of three former presidents of those three countries. Dr. Apple Milton Oboti of Uganda, Mze Jomo Kenyatta of Kenya, Julius Kambarege Nyerere of Tanzania. Those three former presidents of three founder members are the ones who helped in the formation of the East African community. So, my dear learners, I have prepared for you a simple practice. Let me hope that you will use the best handwriting. And for any assistance, you can consult the teacher in the class. Welcome back from that simple activity. Let me hope that you have all got 100% from that activity. Right now, we are going to our first competence. As we said, that we are going to define the term grid reference. Grid reference is the method of locating places using lines of latitude and lines of longitude. And the meeting point of a line of longitude and a line of latitude, uh, that one it is known as grid. When you look at our screen, we have got a line of longitude that runs from the North Pole to the South Pole, and we have got the line of latitude that runs from the East Pole to the West Pole. And where those two lines have met, that is what we call the grid. 
Then we go to the competence number two, defining lines of latitude. Lines of latitude are imaginary lines drawn on maps or globes from east to west. We also have latitude. Latitude is the distance in degrees north or south of the equator. There is a difference between lines of latitude and latitude. Lines of latitude are also known as parallels. We can also call them parallels because they do not meet at any point. When you look at our screen, the lines of latitude cannot meet at any point when you prolong them. They cannot meet at any point. That's why they are called parallels. Uh, the standard measure for the lines of latitude is degrees. Lines of latitude are measured in degrees. My dear learner, I have prepared for you a simple practice. Let me hope that you will use the best handwriting. And for any assistance, you can consult the teacher in the class. My dear learner, welcome back from that simple activity. Let me hope that you have got 100%. We are going to the next competence, which is identifying important lines of latitude. Important lines of latitude. As we said that lines of latitude are imaginary lines running from east to west, and they are normally drawn on maps or globes. So we have five major important lines of latitude. We have the equator. That is our number one. We have the equator. The equator is marked zero degrees. The equator is marked zero degrees because it is the starting point for all readings of lines of latitude. If you are to read the lines of latitude, you start with the equator. And good enough, the equator line passes via Uganda, our nation. We are very lucky for that. The equator divides the world into two equal hemispheres. The northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. That is the equator. Then we also have other two major important lines that cross the continent of Africa. We have the Tropic of Cancer, which is marked 23 and a half degrees north, and the Tropic of Capricorn, which is marked 23 and a half degrees south. The region between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn is known as the tropical region. We also have the fourth line of latitude, which is marked 66 and a half degrees north. And that one is called the Arctic, the Arctic Circle. The Arctic Circle, it is measured 66 and a half degrees north. We also have the Antarctic Circle, which is measured 66 and a half degrees south. Those are the five important lines of latitude we have. My dear learner, I have prepared for you a simple activity. Let me hope that you will use the best handwriting and you get 100%. For any assistance, you can consult the teacher in the class. My dear learner, welcome back from that 
simple practice. We have looked at grid reference and we said it is the method of locating places using lines of latitude and lines of longitude. And we said the meeting point of line of a line of longitude and a line of latitude is known as grid. And I also added and said there is a difference between lines of latitude and latitude. And I said lines of latitude are imaginary lines drawn on maps running from east to west. And I also said that latitude is the distance in degrees north or south of the equator. And I also said that the major line of latitude that divides the world into two equal hemispheres is the equator and it is marked zero degrees. So my dear learner, I have prepared for you a mega activity from where we have started up to the end of this lesson. I end by appreciating you for listening to me. I remain teacher Abbott Ndio for God and my country. Bye-bye.